Rebecca Cheese has been my Achilles heel. You know what? I totally understand. So many people have cheese or like cheese addicts. Mm -hmm. It's like they gotta get the creamy creamy right. in. So you know what? I'm gonna give you a little guide on some of the cheeses that are gonna add a lot of flavor mm -hmm. with just using a little bit. So Tammy, are you ready to go on the tour? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So um, the first cheese, and it happens to be one of the healthier cheeses and one of my personal favorites, is Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. It's an Italian cheese. It's the hard cheese, which makes it lower in fat. Okay. It's called Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. And you want to look for it like this as a hard cheese. And what you see in those green cans, you know, stuff that you shake on, that right. doesn't count, okay? Okay. So this is lower in fat and it's got a real nutty, mm -hmm. lovely taste. And you just take a grater and okay. you can grate this over, you know, maybe a salad, maybe over some dark leafy greens, mm -hmm. a whole grain pasta dish, um, some of your casseroles that you like, just, mm -hmm. you know, less than a quarter of a cup okay. over like a whole meal mm -hmm. is, is, believe me, enough to give you a flavor boost okay. and satiate that craving. And then the next cheese I have here is a sheep's milk feta cheese. Okay. So this is a Greek cheese and, you know, we use feta on salads. Mm -hmm. It's perfect on salads, like a Greek salad. And I know you love peppers. Yes. So like, you know, with peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers, which are really hydrating. You could put like about mm, maybe an ounce or a half an ounce of crumbled feta cheese in there. And it would just, it would give everything like a nice, almost spicy mm -hmm. flavor. And then here's a new cheese for you. I don't know that you've ever tasted it. I'm gonna give you a little, just a little taste here. And that is goat cheese. And this is a strong, pungent cheese, but it's low in fat and high in flavor. And you know, I think I was telling you here, take a little taste. Okay. It's actually very good. It really is. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right? So, you know, you can put it on a cracker, you can mm -hmm. put a little bit of pepper jam on top, mm -hmm. just a dollop, or this is like wonderful on a salad with roasted beets. Mm -hmm. So, um, or just greens with a little bit of little crumbles of goat cheese. Oh, yeah. So yum. Very good. Yes, okay. Very good. So, and then of course, the last cheese that we have is string cheese. Yes. And you're familiar I'm with I'm very familiar with you're, you're, This has like been your best friend, right? It has. It has since I've started this process. <laughs> right. So this is like your go-to cheese. Right. Right? So this is like a low-fat mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. And it's so great. It's like got its own little portion control. Right. You know? And you just take it with mm -hmm. you on the go. Mm -hmm. And for 50 or 70 calories a pop, this is a good way to get your cheese fixed. Right. So, feel a little better about the cheese thing? I do, I do. And I really like that goat cheese. It, it has a lot more flavor than the um, Parmesan or the mozzarella, so. So great, and you can incorporate this too. Again, just a mm -hmm. little sprinkle on, you know, whatever it is that you like or you feel like you want a little cheese fix on. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs>